I work in something called string theory. My world is the world of the 11th dimension. I work with parallel universes, uh, floating bubbles, multiple universes, in which each universe has a slightly different law of physics, governed in its entirety by something called string theory. However, we have to have some applications of string theory to the physical world that we can touch. We cannot touch the 11th dimension, but we can touch protons, and we can touch Higgs bosons and particles. The Large Hadron Collider, the largest machine of science ever built, 17 miles in circumference, is possible because of supercomputers. We create a mini Big Bang. We have two beams of protons going in opposite directions. They slam together at trillions of electron volts, and they have this shower of subatomic particles. These particles have to be analyzed by a supercomputer. Only a supercomputer can analyze the nature of this shower of particles caused by the collision of two protons at energies not seen since the Big Bang itself. That's how we nailed the Higgs boson. And we hope to nail the next sequence of particles as well beyond the Higgs boson. Sparticles, dark matter, superparticles. These are predicted by string theory. And we hope to use supercomputers to prove the existence of higher notes on a vibrating string. And this in turn will allow us to, quote, read the mind of God. This is what Albert Einstein looked for for the last 30 years of his life, an equation no more than one inch long that would allow him to read God's thoughts. And so we think eventually supercomputers will allow us to read the mind of God.